Hi everyone, welcome back again to YouTube channel. I hope you all are well and subscribe my channel. If not so, just do it now. Friend, in this video, I'll show you one iOS tip which will help you to input MP3 song in your iOS device without iTunes software and data cable. But uh, for this process, you need an app, one uh, Gmail or Dropbox account and internet connection. So let's start the tutorial. Friends, as I told you, for this process, you need an app. So the app name is Melodista. You will find the app at the App Store. And this is a free app. Here you can see the app. The rating of this app is 4.7, which is really good. Here you see uh, some uh, short skin of this app. Here is some information about this app, like uh, seller name, app size, which is uh, 60 MB, category music, uh, language English and Russian, and S rating 4 plus. So first download this app at your iOS device. I already download this app. So after downloading this app, when you open this app, you will see something like this. This is the interface of this app. On the left side of this app, you can see one icon which option will help you to sort songs. You can create player list from here. Here is the app setting icon. From here, you can upgrade this app. You can turn on dark mode, colorful player animation and haptic feedback on play and pause. So to input song, click on this icon. Here you can see one list. You can select any option of this list to input music from. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can input song with the help of Dropbox, which is similar to Google Drive. So before input song from Dropbox, you need to install Dropbox at your iOS device. Here you can see I already installed Dropbox. So after downloading the Dropbox app, logging with your Dropbox account, I already logged into my Dropbox account. So after logging at Dropbox, go again to Melodista app and select Dropbox. Here you can see this app want to access the Dropbox. So select allow. Now go to your laptop or desktop and log into your Dropbox account. Friends, make sure you are logging at your Dropbox account with the same user ID which you use at your iOS device Dropbox app. So after logging, just upload any song. For example, I am uploading two song. Here you can see the songs. Now I'm going to my melody step. Clicking on the uh, cloud icon. Select Dropbox. And here you can see the songs which I upload at my Dropbox from my laptop. So if I click on this uh, two song, then this song will automatically input in my music app. So I am clicking on this uh, song. Here you can see uh, song is downloading. That's mean uh, song is importing in this music app. And here is my songs. If I play one song, uh, this one. So here you can see a uh, song is playing. You can uh, see the background color is changing. 
and you can turn on and off uh, repeat option from here from here you will get some options uh, share uh, edit title cover art so from here you can uh, change uh, title the artist and you can also uh, change cover identify cover you can also see uh, song lyrics from here if it will available you can shuffle songs play you can change uh, playback speed time you can also uh, set uh, sleep timer from here here you can see from here you can uh, select your sleep timer here you can see one icon from here you can uh, switch your uh, listening mode you can uh, select speaker or you can select uh, one which you want so in this way you can input songs at your iOS device friend after input songs at your iOS device if you want to delete any song from dropbox or google drive you can but uh, the song will not delete from this app if you want to delete any song from this app you need to swipe the song and here you can see delete edit and share option of this song i hope you understand the process friend if you do not like to use dropbox then you can use google drive but the input process is same so i hope you like this video if so then click on the like button and also click on the subscribe button for more upcoming video of this channel if you have any comments then comment below i will try my best to give your comment reply so thank you for watching please stay safe and be happy see you in the next video